update on the Taylor Shabiznis case as her trial approaches. As we've been following, she's charged with murdering and dismembering Shad Therian back in February of last year. Today, the court hearing from an independent forensic psychologist who testified she does not believe that Taylor Shabiznis is competent to stand trial. Our Holly Brantley was in court today for this hearing. She first brought us this news coming up at, at, at 4 o'clock. Excuse me. So, Holly, we knew this was coming. We heard about it last week, but they were able to put it on the record today. So what struck you about what you heard from this psychologist? Well, today was a lot to take in, Chris. You know, uh, Diane Litton talked about her extensive experience with doing hundreds of mental evaluations, and she said this was one of the most unusual, as you heard with uh, you and Brittany reporting last week. You know, she said that the first time that she attempted to meet with she business, she threw a chair at her. She said that's the first time in 32 years that that had ever happened, and she basically explained that she was sort of all over the place when um, they, when she was interviewing her, when she was evaluating her on that final third attempt that she would go off on tangents that she would speak about hallucinations she would ask her if she understood what was happening she would go off on tangents about Jeffrey Dahmer Johnny Cash and so at the end of it she said you know this is someone that's fallen through the cracks and she does not fully understand the proceedings and it's one of the more unusual cases that she has been a part of uh, a lot has happened since uh, we, this case has begun, obviously. Uh, you mentioned some of the things that she mentioned there. Of course, we all remember what happened in court when and she attacked her then a defense attorney. Cynics, Holly, might say that some of this has been an act to prove that she is not competent to stand trial. How did this psychologist today address that issue? She spoke about that at length, and after bringing up several several uh, conversations, even consulting with other psychologists and interviews that she business had had with other, other psychologists, she said that she does not believe she is faking mental illness. She spoke about her extensive history with schizophrenia, bipolar. She also talked about whether or not her mother's death when she was in fifth grade had an impact on her, which she noted that's when it seemed like her life really took a turn after she looked at her records and she talked about whether meth had had an impact on her as well. But overall, she said she does not believe she's faking mental illness and that she stood her ground on that. All right. We also know that the judge has ordered a third competency evaluation. When will we get the results of those? So that's pretty interesting, too. So that will happen next Friday morning. That's set for Friday morning, July 21st. And then the judge will make a decision on competency. If all goes as planned, the trial could go on as planned beginning that afternoon next Friday on the 21st as scheduled. All right, that is jury selection, and we'll see if everything runs on time. Judge says he still plans to start this, this trial on time. Holly, thanks so much for that update.